Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is uh, day number 196 in the series of basic math, and today we'll do we'll we'll do our 11th lesson in the series of 15 on the topic of work time problems. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that we have two work, uh, two actors, two workers, A and B. A, we are told, can do a certain job in eight hours. B takes ten hours to do the exact same job. The question simply is, how long will they take working together at their constant paces to finish the job? But here, the answer choice is three, four, four and a half, five, and nine. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. I want you to pause the video, do it yourself, and then we'll do it together. Okay? All right. There are two choices we have here. One choice is for us to be solve this question in a very traditional way, orthodox way, the academic way. Another way is the quick and dirty way. The quick and dirty way is to simply realize that this guy takes eight hours, this guy takes ten hours. What if they both took eight hours? If B could work as fast as A, if B could work as fast as A, then in four hours A can do half the job, B could do the other half of the job, and they'll be done. But of course B B is not working, B is not working as fast as A, B is taking 10 hours. So obviously they can't do it in 4 hours because four, they could do the A and B could, could finish the job in 4 hours if both of them took 8 hours to do the job then by, by, by himself or herself. Do you understand? Which tells us that the correct answer whatever it is has to be more than 4. The exact same logic would apply in the reverse. If A takes 10 hours to finish the job and B takes 10 hours to finish the job then in 5 hours A can do half the job in other, in other five hours, B could do other half the job. But of course, A does not take 10 hours. A only takes 8 hours, which means, in reality, it will not take as long as 5 hours. It will be less than 5 hours. There you go. Correct answer, whatever it is, correct answer, whatever it is, has to lie between 4 and 5. It cannot be 4. It cannot be 4 because he's not, he's not taking 8 hours to finish the job. B is taking 10 hours. It cannot be as long as 5 hours. Because A is not taking 10 hours, it's going to be somewhere between 4 and 5. Any answer choice that you find that falls outside the range is not the right answer. 3 is outside, B is outside, 4 is outside, 5, there you go, the answer is C. Now we'll do it in the traditional way, okay? Now let's do it the traditional way if you like. If you're going to do the academic way, the traditional way, the key here is to find a number, a number that works for both A and B, a number what is generally known as the least common multiplier. You want to find a multiplier, a number that is divisible by both, that is nicely divisible by both 8 and 10. And lower, the lower the better. And, and of course, traditionally we look for the least one. It doesn't have to be the least one. For example, 80 will do the job. You can divide 80 by 8 and we can divide 80 by 10. We could use 80, but I'm going to use 40 because 40 is less than 80. It's going to be less work. So in 40 hours, so 40 is the magic number here. 40 is the magic number here. In 40 hours, we are told that A takes 8 hours to do the job which means in 40 hours A can do A can do how many jobs? He only takes 8 hours to do one job. Give him 40 hours and he can do 5 jobs. Similarly, in 40 hours in 40 hours B can do, well B takes 10 hours to do a job. If you give him 40 hours he should be able to do 4 jobs. There you go. That tells us, this implies that uh, they can do nine jobs, they can do nine jobs, right here, they can do nine jobs in 40 hours. That's what that tells us. They can do nine jobs together in 40 hours, if, if you give them 40 hours. We don't have to do nine jobs, they only have to do one job. Therefore, that implies that if you have to only do one job, one job should take the ninth of the amount of time, 40 over nine. 40 over nine. How much is 40 over nine? Let's find out, shall we? Uh, 9 4 is a 36, 9 4 is a 36, so it's going to be 4 and 36, which will have a remainder of 4 and 9. There you go. 4 and a half divided by 9, 4 and a half divided by 9 would, would have been exactly 4 and a half hours. It's not 4 and a half, it's 4 divided by 9, so it's approximately 4 and a half hours approximately four and a half hours just like we said before it should take four and a half hours 
That's the only possible choice. That's the only logical choice is what, what I meant to say. That's the only logical choice. All the other answer choices that you see there are nonsensical. They, they, just, they just don't make any sense. It cannot take as, as little as four hours or three hours. It cannot take as long as five hours or nine hours. It has to be between four and five. There is only one answer choice between four and five. That's your answer. All of that, all of this work that we did was was not necessary. It was 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 in my opinion a sheer waste of time. Simple logical thinking tells us that it has to be between four and five hours. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. We are told that A and B working together. A and B working together can do a job in four days. A and B working together can do a job in four days. Working alone working alone they can do the job in 12 days. If A were working by himself, he would take 12 days to finish the job. A and B working together, they can finish the job in 4 days. Question is, how long, how long does B take? to finish the job by himself. I'm not writing everything out, but that's what it means. How long, do, how long would B take if B were to work by himself? Again, I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself. Well, here we go. The problem tells us that A can do the job in 12 days. We are told working alone A can do the job in 12 days. A takes 12 days. Well if A takes 12 days and we are told that when they work together the job is done in 4 days that implies that implies that in 4 days in 4 days A must do one third of the job. Okay, one more time. We are told, we are told that they, when, when they work together, they can they can finish the job in four uh, four days. But if A is working by himself, it takes him twelve days. Well, if it takes him twelve days to finish the entire job, when he's working with B, the job is finished in four days. In those four days, A must do third of the job because he takes twelve of twelve days. In four days, he can he can do third of the job. That in that in turn implies. That in turn implies that B, this implies that B must do the remaining two thirds of the job in four days. Are you with me? Because obviously if, if he does a third of a job in four days, if A, if A does a third of a job in four days, and if they can finish the entire job in four days, then B must do the remaining two thirds in four days. Are you with me? We're going to continue from here. So this is this is B we're talking about here. So he does he does a two third of the job, two third of the job in four days. Well, if he does if he does two third of the job in four days, that implies that he must do a third of a job. He must do third of a job in two days. But if he can do if he can do third of a job in two days, you multiply that you multiply both of those by three. If you can do a third of a job in, in two days, then if you multiply both of these things by three, that tells us he must he should be able to do whole job. He, he should be able to do a whole job. He can do one job, the whole job in twelve times three, six days. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.